perfectly well today with this Orion in particular. We got Spear on both sides. All right, I want to see what this ends up looking like because in my head, I'm like, S-Grape good, but I think Godly better. But we'll see because S-Grape has been proving. I was saying earlier before that, like, oh, I don't know if I want to put S-Grape up there because I need to see that consistency to know that, like, this ain't a fluke and you really are just, really are just at that skill level. And uh, S-Grape's got me. Do me right. I'm happy to see S-Grape here because now I'm like, all right, next prediction time comes around. I'm putting you in the top three free. But Godly, moving around on this Chun-Li, getting that side to this Wu-Shang epic crossover skin to go ahead and secure that first stock. I want to see if S-Grape can clap back, though, because Godly... I kind of feels like to me as the person that I always thought was a bit higher than everyone else yeah. in the region. Like, was the clear number one, and then there was a gap between number two, and I felt like that EU was starting to catch up. And Godly has had some close calls today, admittedly, but at the end of the day, it's still sitting at the top right now. I want to see if S Grape has a little bit of a better time dealing with this. Well, right now, it seems like he's having the Jesus. worst time dealing with it. Godly with that up toss recovery as well. Just keeping that momentum, that pressure on top of s -Grape. Oh, we oh, came down early, man. That's that mix up on, uh, on the timing by charging it just a little bit. s -Grape was like, oh, maybe I can come in and punish this as it ends. And unfortunately, it just got caught by the end swing. Well, you really held it down, Godly. You dastardly little. Oh, Not yet. making it difficult. Making it difficult. But s -Grape swinging back. Finally gets the first stock. Huge deficit at this point, though, now, right? You're sitting down already halfway through your last stock here, Godly. Finally getting sent down to the second. And this spear has been immaculate. s -Grape, though, trying to go for the whole thing oh. here. Oh, it'd be able to what make it a little bit longer. Who would have known? Oh, going for it again, just needs an explosive play, and you can see him going for it, but it might cost him, gets a good chunk of damage there. Honestly, I respect everything s -Grape's going for, because you need a monumental play to bring yourself back into this one. Yeah, I mean, that really could have turned immediately into s -Grape's favor, at least brought this one back into his clutches. Ooh. Doesn't get caught by the second sidelight there. I thought s -Grape was going to uh, be there long enough. Oh, brave, but... Not going to connect there. Now s -Grape getting caught by that unarmed down sig. Yeah, it was active for a grippy there. And this could be the end. Yeah, yeah. that was a perfect edge guard coming out from Godly. Securing game one of the winner's finals and looking extremely, extremely confident going on here. I mean, he's playing like that. He's going to go to grand finals for certain. It's a question of can s -Grape make the adjustments to slow down Godly. And it's hard to say. z looking pretty good. I almost want to see s -Grape lean more into the Lance because that's when he had like the most momentum. But instead, he's going away from all of it. Instead, he's going to the Tesca for game number two. Wants to bring out the boots. I saw him on Twitter. He's saying boots, spear legend, when? So obviously, he's he's got something going on with these boots. Okay. So this, I, I want to see how this does because I feel like Godly's not going to get shaken up by this, to be honest. I feel like maybe if this was like release boots, yeah, okay. But now, I think they're... You know, a pretty well-balanced weapon as far as weapons go. Um, and so we'll see how well Godly knows the matchup, though, because it seems like, you know, there was that initial wave when the weapon was really strong and everyone was playing it, trying to just cash in on the fact that it was new. Yeah. Uh, but now people have had time, and Godly has had time to kind of kind of learn and try to make adjustments. But s so far actually looking pretty decent. This might be the stock here, though. Yeah, D-Lake -like ground pound. Going to go ahead and close that out. But up until that point, I think the Tesla looked fine. I thought it looked decent, but like once you're underneath someone, especially someone like Godly, like boots struggle in that vertical yes. challenge. Like that recovery is so stuffable. Because I think for boots, like usually you're trying to to win in scenarios like that based off of speed and not based off of like hitboxes and priority, yeah. right? You're just trying to get the fast move out before your opponent has a chance to react and use that wow factor to really sneak your way back on the stage sometimes. But just like that, weapon throw doesn't even need to hit. The side air was enough. s -grape right back in it. Gonna go ahead and grab those battle boots. We're in it. Ooh. One on each foot, left and right. Got them laced up and tight, but Godly comes in. Beating out the startup from s oh and there's that down sig. He's so quick to call out that dodge down from opponents. Okay, and I like it too. You know, making great use of that new gauntlet down air. I guess it's not so new anymore, but really showing the ways that he's adapted to the changes of the game. s -Grape, though, trying to find these openings, throwing out the side light, throwing out the D light, trying to find something, another D light, not going to connect. Too many whiffs, four ooh, whiffs ooh. now, five whiffs now, finally finds a blow and gets a decent string. Three hits, oh. four, another ground pound, doesn't line oh. it up, and actually throws away the stock for it. He just had to grab the side and go back up, but I think he got caught in the thick of it. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of how many resources your opponent has when you keep hitting them like that, because mm -hmm. you're like focusing like, more on getting the hit. That 
Yeah, them. exactly. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I don't blame him. But even with that said, I mean, yeah, Tesco's looking good. This is legitimate. Yeah, this is definitely a practice character coming out from S. Grave. A pocket pick for sure, because nobody was expecting this, but. Nice wake up neutral right there. Gets the side light as well into the down air. Ground Ooh. pound. He did get the wall touch. Oh, Goes no. for the side air. Wanted to use the angle of the wall there. All right, has to touch the floor. There we go. Gets it on the platform. Gets caught by the recovery. I like these down airs from S Grape. Just poking the head of Godly. Needs one D light to send Godly off stage here. The Ooh. D light air won't be enough on its own, though. This air. Has a recovery, burns the dodge here. Nice recovery from Esgrave. That was pretty precarious. Oh, oh but Godly hits him with the Wu Shang oh, Classico. Have you heard of the down sig? Oh, the gauntlet man. down sig from Godly. He's so good with it. I think he's only missed one so far this set, but he is hitting so many with them. And now Esgrave digging deeper into the pockets. He found the change, but there was a penny left at the bottom of his Jenko jeans, and now he's going to the Thea for game number three. Which honestly, like, kind of surprised we didn't see this first. Yeah, you know, it, 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 makes like it makes more, more sense, sense if you were gonna go to a Boots character to go to Thea with that Lance carryover. Because we didn't really see much from the gauntlets, admittedly, you know, we saw a hit or two there as far as strings go, but this one just seems like it would make more sense, but Godly, hey, nice. he doesn't get fall yeah. for it this time, I like it. Landed just outside of it and was like, all right, I'll just, I'll punish once it's done. Oh man. Esgrave cannot find these hits, though. He is swinging, but he is just missing and coming up empty very often. Finally manages to get a hit there. That neutral air doing exactly what he needs it to. Lands on a platform with that ground pound. I wonder if that was actually intentional or not, but Godly finds that D-Light pickup, sends Esgrave to the left side, and is probably going to start fishing for either D-Light or a neutral signature. Oh, my goodness. Godly just knows where my brain is going. Yeah, got him with the anti-air, and now... S grape. This is kind of the pitfall of Thea, right? Is yeah, you've got this high movement speed, but you're not generally putting out that much damage per attack. And S grape is struggling a little bit here against Godly. Doesn't get the read with the unsig. Oh, nice try there with the nair into the recovery, but it's not going to hit. And this is where it gets a little bit tough. Thea, you know, unless you're landing those signatures over and over, can have a tough time KOing. And even with the Ooh. side sig, the down sig, like they don't hit that hard. Yeah. You know, they send you, but they don't hit that hard. It means you have to follow up with an edge guard of some kind. And S Grape's looking for it. Nice try. Just a raw side sig. Trying to catch Godly coming too high. Down sig will do it. He evens up the stock count. Took a little bit of damage there. Okay. Let's we'll see. Throwing out that side light. Trying to follow up. Doesn't get the correct read off the hit. But S Grape trying to keep things competitive here. Needs to rack up some of this damage. Thea does not have a whole lot of defense. That is one thing that is at the disadvantage of Esprit. Don't really playing that Orion, playing that Tuska. A little bit juicier on the defense stat there. Yeah, coming in with that base three defense. That's why he's in the defense stance. Wants to bring that a little bit more closer to neutral. Nice, caught the head there. Oh, delayed read, but Godly just does not swing. Catches the jump. This is terrible for Esgrave. Yeah, bad. <gasps> oh, no, Wait. he got the recovery. He's gone. He's gone. He thought he had it. He got the touch. He was feeling good. He was like, I got to get high yeah, immediately. Tried to get out of there as fast as he could. Oh, man. Yeah, that's going to be tough now. Esgrave has a lot of work to do here on the verge of getting 3-0'd by Godly. I think this boots pick, not a bad idea, though, especially if he ends up getting a run back and, like, loses finals or rather a grand final or something like that. I think he has more of a game plan as to what to do. But first, focusing on what's ahead of him right here. Trying to get Godly. Nice read on the jump. One more Sayer. Push him off. Unfortunately, he does get the touch. And so now Esgrave has more work to do. That's a punish. Nice. Ooh. It's hard. It's hard. She be okay, moving. Yeah. See the flash. I mean, that's why that move can be so tricky, right? It's like, do you punish when they're holding, or do you punish once they release? And yeah, exactly. Never know. Oh, nice try again. Esgrave not landing on the mark with these side signatures, though. Throwing out all the SIGs. And if Thea's supposed to be one of those, you know, you mash a SIG button kind of characters, you know? We've seen Boomy have great success with it before, but Esgrave just not able to get a lot of these SIGs, aside from really the boots down SIG to connect. Oh. And Godly just gets an immaculate punish here. This might just be the entire game and winners finals here if you can close this one out. Tries to go for the down air, Sarah, not enough knockback off of that, but had the end SIG ready before Thea even got to the Lance. Like, it was like, all right, you threw that one out. <laughs> Let's call this winners finals right here, right? Goes ahead and gets, uh, what, what's that black and white thing called? That, checker uh, flag? No, no, not the checker flag. That's what they use on movie sets. Oh, the clapper. <laughs> clapper. <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's called a clapper. It's got, like, all the information.